I'm going to share a fix with you today on these early model Nissans. I own two of them from 96 up to 2001. And if you come out here and you notice your battery's dead or your brake lights is staying on all the time, I've had the same thing happen to me and I figured out. I thought I'd share it with you. Here's a 96 Nissan and then here's a 2001. And you get to noticing there laying in your floorboard there's little plastic parts laying down there under the brake pedal. You know, what What in the world that is? And then you get to notice that your brake light is on all the time. Or your battery's dead, you've not noticed it in time. Or, your cruise control won't engage. Well, I'm going to show you some tricks. Right here's the culprit. It's a little old stopper insert that goes in the metal frame hole right on your brake pedal. And right here is a drawing. You can see your switches. Now this is for the Nissan Xterra. It's got a switch for the uh, cruise control to engage and one to tell you when the brakes is on. And right here is a better drawing of it from the side. It's just a little insert that goes in a hole that hits your brake switches or your uh, cruise control switch. The first thing you want to do before you do any repairs, you can unhook the battery or you can just pull the fuse on your brake lights. Just for safety's sake, you don't short nothing out or mess up a switch. Here I'm showing you which, which fuse it is on Nissan. I don't know why Nissan designs them that way, but it's a bad design, I'll tell you. But it's an easy fix. Alright, what i done, just to replace that little broken insert, you can either put a little really short quarter inch bolt on it with a nut, washer simple fix but I like to use a little plastic because it, it gives a little bit more on your switch and it's hard to get in there I'll show you it, you can cut this little plastic off and make it short as you possibly can to get it in that little hole the fix is not the problem the problem is getting to it and you can see up under here what I could take a picture of See the brake pedal and you see the little plastic bolt I put in there? See the switch there on the left side? That's one of them. And I can get a little closer here. But without that little insert in there, your switch just goes through the center of the hole on the brake frame. Don't know why they designed it that way. But once you get that in there, you just uh, check your test your system, put your fuses back in and you got it but the biggest problem is getting to it so hope this helped you so y'all take care and i'll see you next time